An SUV doesn't have to be boring. Lamborghini already proved that with their $230,000 Urus. But sadly, not everyone has that many Benjamins to burn. So here's a list of seven soccer mom utility vehicles that wouldn't look out of place parked in front of the Ritz Carlton, but are still way more affordable than the Ferrari Purosang. And the farther we go down the list, the cheaper they'll be, until the final car is less than $5,000. Albermo might have the most practical and reliable solution, the XR52. It's a body kit inspired by the Urus, but designed for installation on a regular Toyota RAV4. The kit includes a new front bumper with LED running lights and aggressive Lambo-esque canards. A gloss black cover is also included for the Toyota's radar sensors, which would have been hidden behind the badge on the stock bumper. The rest of the kit is more simple, but definitely a huge improvement over the awkward gray plastic that Toyota uses. The company also offers a similar kit for the Toyota Venza, as well as one that will transform the Prius into a miniature Ferrari FF. The XR52 costs 244,000 yen, which is about 1,700 US dollars. Add the price of a lightly used RAV4 and a fresh coat of paint, and you could build yourself a Urus doppelganger for less than $20,000, hopefully enjoying benefits from both worlds. The style of an Italian supercar, but the price and reliability of a Toyota. Which makes this next option look all the more daunting. The Jaguar F-Pace. Unlike the Albermo, this is the real deal. A fully stock luxury SUV just as it rolled off the dealership lot six years ago. Jaguar unveiled the F-Pace in 2016 for a 2017 model year debut. The brand was a little late to the party, but their luxury performance SUV still competes directly with cars like the X5 and Q7. It comes with standard all-wheel drive, and 2017 offered a base-level turbo 4, or even an upgraded supercharged V6 making 375 horsepower. Plus, the interior is a lot nicer than a RAV4, with leather trim, touchscreen infotainment, and a fancy rotary gear selector. Will all of this break the moment you buy it? Possibly, but the good news is that used models are being sold for around $17,000 to $18,000, quite the impressive discount from its $50,000 MSRP. Put on a nice set of wheels and you might be able to convince your non-car friends that it's worth six figures. But why look like six figures when you could pass for seven? This is the SCL Draco Widebody Infinity QX70. <laughs> It's not a replica of anything specific, but instead it takes inspiration from the whole universe of exotic performance SUVs. The front end has hints of both Aston Martin and BMW, with aftermarket LED running lights, ground effects, and more intakes than you could reasonably count. The side gets thicker, with wheel arch extensions and skirts. The rear of the kit includes an F1 style brake light and an aggressive diffuser. The whole body add-on comes standard in fiberglass, but is also available in more expensive and exotic carbon fiber. It's designed to fit over a 2008 to 2018 QX70 and certain Infiniti FX models. A car that was initially intended as a more high-end equivalent to the Nissan Murano, but has now aged enough to cost only six to $10,000. The Draco widebody kit costs about the same, meaning your minimum investment will be at least 16 grand. A perhaps less ostentatious, yet undoubtedly more comfortable choice might be the Range Rover Evoque. The first generation was sold with a four-cylinder, either the Ford EcoBoost or JLR Ingenium, and Gen 2 added mild hybrid electrification. Surprisingly enough, the early diesel engine models were available with a six-speed manual transmission, though I can't imagine many were sold like that. There are also multiple body configurations, including three-door, five-door, and convertible models. But if a soft top SUV isn't quite your style, there are actually plenty of cheap Range Rovers out there, most of which have been traded in by wise owners who realized the poor reliability wasn't worth the brand prestige. Like the F-Pace, buying a used Evoque might be a bit of a gamble when it comes to insurance and repair costs. But hey, the list is called cheap SUVs to make you look rich, not reliable SUVs to keep you out of the service bay. The Mazda CX-5 might be one of the last cars you expect to have immense aftermarket support, but there's a surprisingly wide range of exotic body kits offered for the affordable hatchback. 
Of course, it helps that the CX-5 is fairly attractive to begin with, but if you want to hide the Mazda badges under the guise of an exotic exterior, Climate Japan sells the CX-5 Balena body kit. With a two-piece front splitter, optional LED lighting, over fender wide body, and your choice of stainless steel or titanium blue exhaust tips as a finisher, the Balena kit will make your cheap ride into something that could pass for a Maserati. The full kit costs 650,000 yen, or about $4,500. For the last generation CX-5, you could also get parts from Ducks Garden another Japanese body kit brand which sells front and rear bumper conversions for 100k apiece, less than $1,000. Add it all up and you're going to be spending anywhere from 12 to 15 grand. The most affordable Porsche used to be my 944, but since those have caught the attention of collectors, your only hope of obtaining a functional P car for under 10 grand is now the Cayenne. The first generation Porsche SUV came out in 2003 and was offered with a twin turbo V8 and surprisingly adept off-road capabilities. Even the base model made 350 horsepower, enough performance to win over enthusiasts who could no longer fit their family into the back of a 911. Porsche was one of the first brands to jump aboard the exotic SUV bandwagon, which means their cars have had the longest time to accrue miles and decrease in value. What once cost you over $50,000 is now available for just five grand. Add in just a little bit of creativity, and that's really all you need to start building a sick overland rig. As I promised in the beginning, the Cayenne is already available for under five grand. But here's a final, even more affordable option. The Big Daddy Caddy. Predating even the Cayenne, the Cadillac Escalade was essentially a rebadged GMC Yukon when it came out in 1999. But thanks to a healthy dollop of additional features, including the chrome wheels, CD changer, and subwoofers, it became a popular choice for buyers who wanted a luxury feel at a lower price. A good wash, a set of wheels, some aftermarket LEDs, and you could reasonably park this at the local car meet without getting laughed out of town like the Nissan Juke owners. Plus, there's plenty of space in the back for activities. Pimp it out with a flat screen, cook a or give rides to the local There's a reason the Escalade has been the king of cheap luxury SUVs for so long, and there's hardly a better way to blow three grand, as long as you don't shine a black light around the rear seats. Which of these affordable, exotic looking luxury SUVs would you buy? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.